Hello, my beautiful, intelligent people. Thank you to everybody who's been liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, and booking readings. Today, we are going to ask about uh, what will help you remove blockages and connect more to your divine purpose. Um, this might involve any kind of shadowy work you need to do. I just want to say thank you again. Um, we've got pile one, pile two, pile three, pile four. Um, I am doing two free readings at 6,000 subscribers, so make sure that you are subscribed and comment if you want to be in on that. If you want to book with me, my email's in the description right below the timestamps. Uh, that is the way to contact me. I don't have a WhatsApp, and if somebody offers you one in the comments, it's not me. There is somebody who's pretending to be me, so just... Altogether, if you want to contact me, that email is safe, it's reliable, and I check it all the time. So we're going to move on to pile number one with the butterfly. Change is here. So, pile number one and the butterfly. Woo! At 111. Shadow work. What will help you remove blockages? And connect you to divine purpose. There's a lot of fear and anxiety and worry going along. And you being able to master and balance your emotional state is going to put you more at in in this. It's like it's going to give you wings. It's going to like you're going to. You're just going to experience a lot of freedom through that. I think that you need to know that you doing what you can to balance yourself out emotionally, to find your own inner peace, to no longer listen to the parts of you that only consider what could go wrong. It's ultimately going to lead to long-term success and stability for you. It's like that anxiety. It just feels like the anxiety is, key, is the thing that's tying you up and keeping you from getting there. What will help you remove what will help you remove this blockage? Because the devil is like something that is very fear-based. This is very fear-based. But it's like you you definitely can. You're not always you don't if you don't want to stay stuck here, you don't have to stay stuck here. You can have balance. You can be on higher purpose. You can get the stability that you would want. But you do have to let go of the things that don't serve you. And sometimes, oh, death. So with death, it's like change is going to happen. Change is inevitable. Transformation, transformation, like, but not, you know, like you, one way or another, things are going to change. But your, your emotional state, like your, your own personal temperance, like your, you know, also, it's very interesting that temperance and the devil came out together because the devil is kind of like addiction. A devil is a holding on to things that, you know, in some ways feel pleasurable and in some ways, you know, cause you harm. And like this, this isn't your way forward. 
And temperance is about, you know, not being so in this roller coaster. Temperance is finding your balance. Temperance is, you know, not giving in to your dark side. Temperance is finding calm and balance. So you should know, like, there may be something that's not healthy for you that you want to hold on to. And, like, no matter what, there's going to be some kind of, like, transformation is going to happen one way or another. But you can actually really end up better off. So, clarity on this nine of swords. There's something about this anxiety that maybe makes you not want to have to deal with things emotionally. Um, like being in this constant anxiety might lead you to try to do things to alleviate that anxiety that might not be the best for you. Clarity on the temperance card. But there's a strong need for you just to emotionally walk, in, uh, walk away from situations that cause you harm, but for some reason you want to hold on. But they're, they're not fulfilling. And you walking away from unfulfilling things is also going to help you find personal balance. Shadow work what will help you remove blockages and connect more to your divine purpose. Clarity on the Ten of Pentacles. High Priestess. It's like you need to follow your intuition and not your fear. Because... Your intuition will show you truth, your intuition, but your intuition is not your anxieties. And they're not your attachments. But ultimately, following your intuition, following that calm part of yourself, instead of the fight or flight part of yourself, the part of yourself that you know, wants to avoid and not really take responsibility. But no matter what, like, no matter what, everything in this, like, there is no, there is no status quo here. Whatever is going to happen, changes are going to happen anyways. Metamorphosis, metamorphosis, uh, but it's just there's a need to walk away from things that don't fully serve you. There, and there's a need for you to find your own personal peace and calm because your peace and calm will lead you to the answers you need to get a really happy, stable, fulfilled life. What will help you remove blockages and connect to your divine purpose? Five of Swords. So you either need to face that there may be somebody in your environment who isn't isn't coming through and 
being a good person. Like there's somebody in your environment and they're all about them. Or there's somebody uh, or you are letting your own anxiety sabotage yourself. But there's something that there's something that makes you feel chained to the things. There's something that makes you chained to the fear, chained to like I mean there's there's a choice to like really be emotionally stable or there's a choice to not. But what's going to bring stability is just walking away from things that aren't uh, in your best interest. Uh, and whether it's you that are self-sabotaging or whether there's somebody in your environment that you feel attached to, but they're not good for you. Or maybe there's a job that, you know, you're very attached to, but it's not good for you. But no matter what, there's something that you're holding on to and you're holding on to it because of fear and anxiety. And even if you don't know what's going forward, you walking away from that because it's unfulfilling is going to lead you more towards your own peace and will allow you to like be in alignment with the divine, like you'll be able to see clearly, even if you're going forward into the unknown, like you, you, you're going to have the ability to see in the dark. Even if you go off into the night. And your ultimate long term, if you're willing to face the mystery of reality. And do something different the end outcome is good for you. Like the end outcome is pretty ideal for you. What will help you remove blockages and connect to your divine purpose? Queen of Cups. This is a very psychic card. This is a very psychic card. This is the divine also being involved to, to help you. It's change. No matter what, there's change. It's like, what, it, but you have to decide whether you're going to go along kicking or and screaming and like deciding that if you can't have the thing that you want that may not be good for you, that you know that you're just not going to be happy. And that's an option you can take, but it's not the best option. The best option is to. Get yourself emotionally balanced. Be the master of your emotions, not at the mercy of them. Because you mastering your emotions, this is not you ignoring your emotions. This is you using your emotions as a seat of power for yourself. And, and when you're, you know, when you're there and you're not you know, putting time and energy in something that's not looking out for you and constantly considering and uh, what isn't, you know, like, what are you anxious about? What are you fearful of? But just because, like, if you let yourself go in the flow because it's the water and the high priestess, like, if you let yourself, let the world take you, a little bit forward like if you let yourself be the queen of your emotions the king of your emotions it's not about gender but it is about spiritual enlightenment and sometimes you need to let go of what doesn't serve you to really be able to get what you deserve so what your path is going to be something where you have to go into the unknown. There, there's, you know, there is going to be a need for you to have faith in your, in your abilities, in, in, in what you 
deep down know can happen, but maybe I haven't seen yet. But your, your emotional power is your strength. And you're going to manifest an emotionally satisfying new beginning. And your emotionally satisfying new beginning is going to, you know, have long-term real, like, you know, if you want things to show up for you in a good way and, like, be things that you can always depend on, you can have that happen. But your, your path there is through um, your own emotional intelligence, your own emotional power, um, your ability to listen to the universe and not just your fears. But if you give yourself, like if you balance your dark and your light side, if you balance, you know, like if you, emotional balance is really just going to make a huge difference for you in your life. Uh, and you're going to have new beginnings that you're happy, you know, like you're, you're going to be happy for having them. Like you walking away from things that aren't working out are going to lead to you getting things that you do want, that you do. Don't let the stress win. And I feel like that's very much the case because the first card that came out was that, uh, it's, I can't get, grab it right now, but that nine of swords. Your, I mean, sometimes stress makes sense. However, stress is not your solution. Stress is kind of your block. Concentrating on what, oh, this is interesting. Because I was saying you're going to have to let go of something. Being no is a gift. Now you know and can move on and do better. Some of you receive some kind of rejection. Um, and right now you've got your all in your anxiety and maybe you're just sad about it and, you know, but ultimately you might have had things go wrong because those things aren't for you. Those things weren't going to give you this spiritual enlightenment. We're going to give you your happy new beginning. They are unsatisfying and you need to walk away from them. I don't know what it is. It could be romantic. It could be, you know, a disappointment in, in like a job. It could be, but you're, even though, you know, it's understandable to want what you're going to want, but like not everything's in your best interest. And like you, and accepting like maybe you got rejected because, Whatever it was, whether whatever situation wasn't going to do right by you. So with integrity, I feel like there's an, but I'm also getting a little, little bit of Ace of Swords energy. It's like there's a need to realize um, that's, you know, you... Like sometimes you're, you win, but sometimes you win because something rough kind of happened. Like sometimes, like, you know, there was some kind of reality that needed to come through. Um, with the integrity, I feel like if you get yourself emotionally balanced, you're going to uh, act in integrity then your own, your intuition is just going to open up to you. Your intuition is going to like tell you where to go because you're going to be in alignment with where you need to go. And it is going to ultimately lead to emotionally satisfying new beginnings and long-term success. So don't concentrate like, you know, 
so, sometimes things ended because you weren't supposed to hold on to them. Sometimes things end be, and it's a good thing because those things that we might have been holding on to might have been holding us from receiving our dreams. But I feel like no matter what, I don't know how you guys had a disappointment, but you did have a serious disappointment. Um, but what is what you need to remove is this anxiety um, and you need to remove, uh, you know, just kind of having a woe is me attitude about it. Like, I understand that, you know, you know, it might not have been fair. It does seem like you dealt with something that wasn't fair that you, you know, but what is going to get you there is you getting out of your fear, getting out of your attachment, walking away from what doesn't fulfill you, like getting yourself emotionally balanced. And because when you're emotionally balanced, you're just going to be on your path. So don't get me wrong. If you, if you need to grieve something, grieve it. It's fine. This is not about you know, me shaming you for have something, you know, not ideal happen because you did have something that wasn't ideal happen. But uh, you do have to realize that you could be holding on to something that isn't what's going to bring you. It's like you might have something that symbolizes something to you. Like getting this job at this company symbolizes success to me. But if that job at that company was going to be something that wouldn't actually bring you success, sometimes spirit's not going to give that to you. Because spirit wants you to have long-term success and isn't going to give you the thing that you think will give you that. But won't. So I know that that's, you know, maybe not the most fun thing to hear. Um, but so what will help you remove your blocks? I almost forgot to give you your charms. So hopefully you didn't click off. <laughs> so Everything is going to become apparent to you. And again, long-term success and happiness. Success and happiness are, you know, um, but there's a need to invest in things that can bring you health. And since we're, you know, still on, there, there's, there's a need, you're not in two yet, but you're, there's a need for you to invest in what's actually going to be healthy for you. And because whatever, whatever situation said no to you, it was something that wasn't going to be healthy for you. So realize that you will have growth, you will have happiness, you will have stability, but you need to plant something in soil that can make it grow. Like you need to choose something that's healthy. Ultimately, you know, you may not see things now because you're going to have to try things different. But eventually things are going to be very clear for you and they're also going to be a lot happier. So I've got the chef's hat and the utensils. I've got mother. I've got love in heart. A, he, time, crooked smile, sad face, and somebody pretending to be happy. So, so this is like nourishment. There is something that needs to be nourished, but there's like, there's a time for something. There's a time for something. Um, with he... Some of you like really might be like putting all your time and energy on somebody else, whether it's he, whether it's a she, but you might be like focusing on somebody else. But I feel like instead of focusing on somebody specific like he, 
I feel like you need to sp- focus on like the greater concept, a concept. A, I want a person who loves me instead of I want this person who may not be able to give you that. I feel like there there's something about the manifestations where there may be a little bit of a disconnect because you're you might be not realizing that you're ask you know like that you want this greater thing like a happy loving home because ten of pentacles or abundance that'll last and you may be asking for what you think is a step along the way but ultimately it's not part of the equation that that you should ask for the thing you ultimately want which will force you to be a little bit more general rather than asking for the sub category that you may not be on the right track about. But I, there's sadness and there is kind of like a crooked smile. Like there could be somebody that's a little bit especially with that five of swords, like there could be somebody that's self-satisfied. There could be like, and again, like you're supposed to walk away from things that don't make you happy. And there is something that's not making you happy. And sometimes the things that you're, so, and there's also pretending to be happy. So make sure that you're not holding on to somebody that or some situation that just doesn't intend to do right by you. Purple is about your spiritual connection. And and again, there were a lot of spiritual connection cards in there. Um, I feel like, you know, the love in your heart is important. I've got mother. So there might be some link to your connection with mother, maybe even like needing to find a mother figure, who knows? But, um, but ultimately don't, I feel like you, if you want a spiritual connection with the divine, like the divine wants a spiritual connection with you. But you do need to release the things that aren't, that just aren't serving you. Uh, and your anxiety isn't serving you and holding on to people who don't mean you well, whether it's personally or professionally or, you know, in any other way. It's, uh, you know, that that's not what's going to give you this clarity. But there is a necessity for you to get yourself emotionally balanced and together. Uh, And then so much, it's like almost everything else is going to come into line for you when you do that. Once you get yourself emotionally together and walk away from any situation that is treating you badly. Now, of course, you know, we have to deal with things like if it is a job, we need to figure out how to make money, all those things. I'm not saying you don't need to be practical, but you do need to realize that you're not stuck. So I hope this helps you. If you do want a free reading, uh, I'm giving away two as soon as they hit 5,000 subscribers. So just make sure that you're subscribed and you comment and you're in the running for that. Uh, I also, if you want to contact me, my information's in the description right below the timestamps. Just make sure that you are, um, excuse me, <laughs> just make sure that you are um, using that email and not using a WhatsApp from the comments. There is somebody that's posing as me, uh, I'm never going to give you a WhatsApp. It's not, it's not me. Just, uh, just use that email. It's safe, secure, and I check it all the time. So we're going to move on to pile number two. 
Pile number two, my gorgeous and talented people. What will help you remove blockages and connect to divine purpose? There is a need to move on to calmer waters. And there is also, like, it's also important to have and maintain strong boundaries. A lot of, a lot of what will help you move forward, you know, keep moving in the direction of better things is continuing to value and take care of yourself. I'm getting that you are somebody that has just had to deal with a lot of challenges. I say that as I just look down at the clock and it says four, four, four. Like you're deal you've dealt with a lot of challenges. You've moved on from difficulty. Like you've, you fought the battles that you needed to do. You figured out how, you either have figured out or you are figuring out how to be really happy and stable within yourself independently. Still 444 is on the clock. Like, and I feel like with 444 being on the clock with that, I feel like you need to know that you've done a really good job of stabilizing yourself. Even though I feel like because of the difficulties you've had, you may be a little, uh, you, you may have a little bit of a wall up, but it's not, you know, you are supposed to have and maintain strong boundaries. I feel like a spirit wants you to know because you are moving away from, you know, you are moving away from hard times. You are moving away from difficult. You are moving away from drama. You are maintaining strong boundaries that like the universe is going to correct in your favor. Like you will have justice. And you've definitely had loss. I feel like what I'm getting is like the universe is going to correct itself in your favor. The things that you're doing to stabilize yourself is going to, it's like it's going to make the universe snap back in your favor. So even though, yes, you're moving on from difficulty. Yes, you have had to stand your ground. Yes, you have had to set limits, especially regarding situations that just were not giving to you, that were leaving you wanting. I feel like a lot of you have found, you know, like, I feel like a lot of you have had to like set boundaries with people because they gave you way too little. But again, things are going to snap back in your favor because you have figured out how to be strong within yourself. It's like when you get those offers now, it's going to be like you, you know that you got into a place where you know that you're good by yourself. So it's not worth taking an offer unless it adds to that. So a lot of, of what's going on with you is you've had to build your self-worth even though you've come out of difficulty and that the world is going to correct in your favor because you found a way to Say no to the people who don't give to you. You found a way to be strong and stable within yourself. 
So the, the only offers you're going to take are the offers worth receiving. With the five of uh, with the five of wands, five of wands is about chaos. People who won't work together, you know, there, you know, fights. I mean, it can be internal chaos too. But I feel like if you look at this card, there's a bunch of people, you know, just waving sticks around a hornet's nest and there's one person who's like wait I'm I can see it and I feel like I feel like you're getting to the point where you realize that you don't need to engage in the chaos that sure there may be people who are blindfolded and you know you know either gonna hit themselves or hit wasp nests because they don't know what they're doing, but like you have more vision than that. And again, moving away onto calmer waters. I feel like you're, you know, not only are you just not willing to engage in, in, like, I feel like you did, you really did have to go through a hard lesson in just like not engaging in other people's drama and not in, you know, not putting a stop to any situation that didn't give you what you deserve. But I am getting like the people in this um, pile are really getting a sense of greater self-worth, greater realization that I don't need to put up with this. So I, I feel I just, it's not something that I say regularly, but I feel like I need to say it because it's obviously something for somebody. It's like, I can do bad all by myself, but also um, I, I can also just, if I can be happy and comfortable and, and, you know, take care of things all by myself. It's like the, the universe is telling you it's going to correct for that. Like th that, you know, if you're taking care of business, if you're saying, no, I won't engage in these things that, you know, quite frankly, are silly. Universe is give, going to give you the things that you're saying, no, nope. with my time, energy, efforts, my emotions, I'm choosing this. So they're going to, uh, the universe is going to give you what you deserve and what you deserve is to be able to move forward. What you deserve is, you know, that next great opportunity that isn't in line with what you're already setting up. A lot of you are really at a point where you can create a lot of abundance and happiness in your life. And that abundance and happiness is because you said, no, I will not engage with this because it's beneath me. Uh, and I'm, you know, I'm good enough to get things moving for myself. And you're saying, and that's what you're telling the universe you're going to accept. So the universe is just going to start offering you that. Queen of Wands. I don't do reversals unless I'm told to. So I feel like, I feel like you've made the step to say what I won't accept. You've made the step to make yourself independent. But there is like the further step is to like really be moving towards like having that fire and moving towards what you want because you can make it manifest. The universe has your back. The only thing that it can get in the way is you. 
you being in balance. So be willing to go forward and occasionally be bad at things until you can be good at them. That five of wands is coming up again. Uh, and I feel like there's some kind of resistance. So, I mean, you still might, I feel like it's like you can see the game. There, there's part of you like the 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 blown flow, bl bl the blindfolds off enough that you can see the game. It's just there is a need for you to stop engaging in it. Realize that you can start your own game with your own rules. Any more advice? Again, the only thing that's holding you back is you. And you're, for the most part, you're getting pretty good at what you don't want anymore. You're willing to say no to things you don't want. Uh, but it's not just about saying no to the things that you don't want. It's also realizing that you're way more expansive than you want. Like that if you have a greater vision, that you can achieve it. But there is a part of you, and it could be because of, you know, things people have said or done to get in your way. Like, there could be a part of you that has let the things that, you know, the, the, the chaotic actions of people. There's a part of you that, because, that has let yourself believe that you're somehow at the mercy of the chaoticness of other people. And if you sleep on engaging with people who are regularly chaotic, yes, it's not surprising if you continue to have chaotic experiences with them. But um, not everybody is super chaotic. Not, and I feel like you... You kind of like, you can already kind of see, but you need to realize because the, the chariot is like the universe giving you momentum forward, but usually there's like two horses and two sphinxes, one being light, one being dark, one representing our shadow side, one representing our higher self. And this is some kind of self-limiting belief. So, like, the universe wants to give you justice. The universe is, like, there's wind at your back moving forward for you to create success and happiness. But there is a need for you to have vision that that happiness is possible, that you can have joy. That you can make that happen for yourself. Because the universe is going to support that, but you need to be aware enough of your own thoughts that, you know, you don't let somebody who treated you in a chaotic way mold how you think. Because if you let yourself if you fully release yourself from self-limiting beliefs, you're just going to have an emotionally satisfying new beginning. And I understand that this is difficult because you have something going on, like you have created, uh, you know, st uh, some stability for yourself. You have said no to things that are beneath you, but you also have to believe that. 
it's not just about cutting out what's not good enough for you because that's important, but also realizing that if you want justice, if you want things to work out for you, the universe is actively trying to work in your favor to make that happen. And you need to, to clear out whatever beliefs, you know, won't lead to you to have a happy new beginning because you're holding on to something that's not true. You be, it's like whatever in you tells you you're not good enough or makes you feel like you deserve some of this foolishness that you were subjected to. That's not accurate. What's accurate is that you are the master of your existence. The universe, if you want to move forward, the universe is going to help you. But you just need to realize that you're not trapped first. So, happiness, security, comfort. That's going to happen. Key to your own abundance. I feel like some of you have already realized that you have the key to your own abundance. But I feel like you may not really accept the extent you have the key to your own abundance. This is my world charm. Like, if you want success, success is here for you. And you're, you've done half of the job. You've, you've told the universe what you won't put up with. Which is half the work. And the other half is letting the good things happen for you. Shutting down, uh, you know, like you've check, uh, shut down negative cycles, but you have to start the new one. And realize that your problems will be new and different. You know? You you don't necessarily, like, you have a chance to close out old problems, really just up-level and do better. How light? So I feel like a lot of the best advice is, you know, for you to be calm and centered. I feel like you are really capable of creating abundance by yourself. And even though you're not always going to stay by yourself, emotional new beginning, possible new love, things, the world working on your behalf. But you you need to realize that you're, you're not a bit player in your life. You're the protagonist. You're the person who is going to make things move forward by, you know, following what you're passionate about. Regardless of what anybody else has said, because they don't know any better, they're wearing blindfolds. And you need to stop believing the blindfolded people. <laughs> they may not be lying to you, but it's just their truth isn't accurate. So with the watering can. I feel like, you know, keep on watering your own abundance. Realize that you're not limited in the way that you may have accepted that you're limited because you're just not. Um, with six, six is the number of love and it's the number of balance. Balance. So just realize that, you know, you doing the things like you not putting up with people, places, or things that treat you in a way that's that you know you don't deserve is a good thing. That's something that you are doing right. You know, you building up your life and your independence and making sure that you're good no matter what anybody else does, that's smart. It's right. You're doing the right thing. But like you you're not just limited to that. Like, even greater things are going to come for you. The cat. I feel like... Maybe there is, like, this need to observe. 
like from a vantage point sitting up like the cat, like there, there may be a need for you to, I feel like, yeah, you need to set boundaries with people and maybe you don't need to take all your advice from, you know, people who don't know any better, but I feel like you, it's, it, you should be willing to have your new beginning in love and emotional satisfaction. I feel like it's just that you should give that time and energy to somebody that you observed that, you know, like, because, you know, cats in general, like, you have to earn some level of trust with a, with a cat. It doesn't mean that cats aren't loving, but like, I feel like there's a need for people to earn your trust. It doesn't mean that you, you know, hold, you know, like have un, you know, walls that nobody can pass. You may have, you know, things that you're not going to put up with, which is understandable. Um, but uh, I feel like, but once somebody that has earned your trust comes along, a cat will be a lot more loving and vulnerable. Like, I feel like you can still have this companionship, this vulnerability, but it just, you know, like somebody just needs to earn your trust first. So just, it's like you're halfway through your big transformation. That's what I feel like you, you, you figured out what you don't want and you won't put up with. And that's important, but you do need to realize that you're not as limited that, you know, that you can have companionship again, but it, it's going to be with somebody who, has shown that they deserve your trust. And it's also going to be that moment moving forward is, is going to be partially by realizing that you don't have the limitations that people have told you that you do. It's just inaccurate. So I hope that this helps you. If you do want a free reading, I'm giving away two as soon as I hit 6,000 subscribers. Be subscribed and comment and you're in the running for that. I want to say thank you to everybody who's been liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting. If you do want to book a reading with me, I do them all the time. Uh, you just need to use the email in the description uh, in the description that's right before uh, is right underneath the timestamps. Um, if somebody offers you a WhatsApp, it's not me. Somebody is pretending to be me, um, and people are trying to pose as a lot of tarot readers right now. So, but as long as you're using my email, we're, we're good. It's a, uh, you know, that's safe, secure. If something looks like me, it's probably because they set up a dummy channel. So I hope that this helps you. And we're going to move on to pile number three. Pile number three. What will help you remove blockages and connect to your divine purpose. Three of Swords, Queen of Swords. You've definitely dealt with heartbreak. Knight of Swords. I feel like there's a need to deal with truth. So I've got death, three, uh, three of swords, queen of swords, knight of swords. There could be a need, uh, like there's been some kind of significant ending. There has been heartbreak. And I feel like there's, um, there may be some kind of need to take action. There may be some kind of need, like there is a, 
lesson that can be learned here. Clarity on the death card, please. Three uh, cups. Something could have ended because it wasn't taken seriously enough. And again, there may be a need for taking action. There may be a need for communication. But I feel like something that was... There... There was a serious and significant loss, and that serious significant loss was because whatever, because what, what, there was something that really needed to change that maybe wasn't taken seriously. I feel like there's still an opportunity for transformation here. Um, shadow work. What will help you remove blockages and connect to divine purpose? Three of swords. High priestess. I feel like you guys are already getting divine guidance. I feel like deep down, your actively being you're being communicated with the universe i know that it's not always it's not always in words or pictures or anything like that but the you're you're being given like bouts of real intuition that will show you the way forward but you need to be willing you're 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 being it's like you're way forward involves you following that intuition and not following that intuition unfortunately as i have a little gnat flying around um like it it leads to this um you know it's like i feel like with this gnat who wasn't flying around with any of the other readings suddenly just showed up it's like, uh, I feel like not listening to your intuition is constantly getting you out of focus. There might have been heartbreak because, again, if you feel like you lost something because you weren't listening to your gut, you may need to listen to your gut. Because the high priestess is about knowing, even if you don't know how you know. Five of Swords. There's a possibility you might, uh, there, there was definitely some heartbreak happened because of some kind of sabotage, whether it was self-sabotage. But, you know, like, I feel like there there's a need for, I'm going to get more clarity on that, but I'm going to pull one more card first. Shadow work, what will help you remove blockages and connect to your divine purpose? Now, I feel like there is this. fear and this fear leads you to not hold on to things in a healthy way or, or to hold or to hold back too much but you want to protect something you want to You know, like you are not even going to look out for you. I feel like it's possible that you may have sabotaged something that was very significant to you in your life. 
that on some level you knew better, but you may not have done better. And we can only work with where we are right now. Like, uh, but there's a need to be in truth and take action towards the truth. And if you, you know, and and it's possible that you might have lost out on something because you didn't take it seriously enough. You, you know, were too interested in not losing anything to properly give in the situation. But there, you know, like this, whatever is three of swords happened because somebody in this situation was looking out for themselves and, you know, was treating something like a zero sum game in, instead of a win win situation. And unfortunately, it created a no-win situation. Okay, well, we'll help you remove blockages and connect to the divine. Connect to the divine. I feel like there's a need to create stability in your life with the three of swords again just over the five of swords three of swords is in the five of swords like I feel like everybody in this situation got their heart broken And I feel like, you know, there is a need to create stability. There is a need to be uh, a nurturing individual because that's something that did not happen. What will help you remove blockages and connect to divine purpose? There was a greater lesson here with judgment especially with because there was definitely some bad behavior here um you know but there is a way like of having a new beginning there is a way of having you know you know moving on from one cycle into the next cycle not coming across the same issues. There is like a lesson to be learned. And once you learn the lesson, you're going to just be at a better point in life. But, like, there is a big burden here that needs to be released. Um, and, you know, whatever, whatever, and whoever was, like, whether you were self-sabotaging or somebody else was sabotaging, like, everybody got their heart broken. Somebody was trying to win and nobody won. And there is going to be a chance for there to be some kind of renewal, but that's all through learning what kind of cosmic and karmic lesson that you need to. 
but there, there is definitely still a burden in this situation. So if you didn't do right by somebody, then maybe you need to try to do right by them. Uh, if you, or if that's no longer an option because everybody got their heart broken in this, although if you can do something to make amends, why not? Because, you know, just holding on and carrying the burden doesn't do you any good. Try and try again. Like there is an ability to have this stability again. You know, there for some of you, there may be a chance for you guys to have a rebirth in this connection. But whether there's a rebirth in this connection or not, there's a lesson to be learned that leads to wisdom. And ultimately, whether you were wrong or whether you were wronged, there's a need to release the burden. Because, again, like if you can, if you did wrong and you need to do right by somebody, rather than just holding on to guilt, you know, try to do right by somebody. If maybe it is too late, who knows? But if it is too late, at least you will know. And at least you can learn. But it's like, your there there's a need for there's a need for having lessons learned and applying those lessons and it's not just about feeling bad about something it's about applying the lessons to your life try and try again get another plate no regrets I feel like if you did something that you regret, you know, maybe do what you can to make things right. If you need to drop that and move on to something else, maybe you will. But like your way forward is by learning from whatever happened. Because there was a very big life lesson in what happened. Awaken. But ultimately, you applying these life lessons, you being willing to listen to your intuition, they're all putting you in a greater degree of spiritual awakening and enlightenment. But I feel like there, there is a need for there to be some kind of action taken. Whether taking action to make amends with somebody, whether taking, uh, like, because whether or not somebody forgives us isn't us, you know, like, that's not on us. But, you know, what might be helpful if we did do wrong by somebody, like, you know, try to do right by them. Now, whether or not they choose, you know, the forgiving path, that's not on us. But it is releasing a burden. And if, if maybe someone didn't do right by you, say that it's not you who sabotaged things. You know, there is like, there's, there's some kind of big lesson in what happened. And it was kind of a sad and messed up situation when no one won. But how do we learn the lessons so we can release and we can have our new start?
because life is still happening. Um, but you can definitely find your stability in life again. So I hope this helps. I, I, I feel that I almost forgot to get you charms. So super, so Superman, Supergirl, I feel like there is, there is a need to be the best version of yourself. Like you're learning to the lesson so that you can, you know, be that best version of yourself, a part of you that uses power with responsibility. There is definitely love in this situation. Like, I feel like regardless of whether you are, you know, like, there's a reason why there was two broken hearts because there was love on both sides. There, you know, and I feel like there still is. There is a need for truth and vulnerability. There's a need for realness. There's a need to not panic. Because actually there are still healthy things that might be able to come out of this situation. But, uh, you know, like you need to learn how to trust your gut and you need to awaken to what you're supposed to awaken for. And you're, if you're being called to take action, you need to take action. But I feel like, you know, with this little hair thing, which is like a big screw, I feel like, you know, there's a need to detangle this situation. So I hope that helps you. If you do want a free reading, I'm giving away two as soon as I hit 6,000 subscribers. So just make sure you're subscribed and you comment and you're in the running for that. I also want to say thank you to everybody who's been liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, and booking readings. It all matters, and I'm really appreciative. Uh, if you do want to contact me, my information is in the description below the timestamps. Just make sure that you contact me on that email. There is somebody who's pretending to be me in the comments. <laughs> it is not me, and I will never, ever give you a WhatsApp because uh, I'm not that's not how I contact people. So make sure that uh, you, you contact me with that and you're going to get the real me and I will make sure I take care of you. So we're going to move on to our gorgeous pile number four. Pile number four. What do you need to let go of so you can what will help you remove blockages and connect to the divine uh, to your divine purpose? What will help you remove blockages and help you connect to your divine purpose? I feel like there's a need for you to just slowly and surely keep moving forward. And I feel like there's a need for you to keep moving forward, that you should have a plan and just like, just keep slowly and surely moving forward. I feel like you're, you really need to connect to your own joy and happiness. Your joy and happiness is going to help manifest and bring you wish fulfillment, wish fulfillment, wish fulfillment. So I feel like the only thing that you need to do to keep moving towards happiness, wish fulfillment, healing, you know, all of that is just keep on slowly but surely in a practical way moving forward. With, I feel like there's a need for you to follow what makes you happy. Follow, it's like let yourself get excited, almost like a child. Because you ha may have a propensity to just be super dissatisfied with what's happened. And, you know, it's understandable life could be really disappointing sometimes. 
but you making practical applications forward and just really concentrating on what you can be excited and happy about and not being so serious is going to help you. Wish fulfillment, like you're, it's all like wish fulfillment, wish fulfillment, happiness, enthusiasm. So what's blocking you is what is concentrating on what you're not happy about. What will help you remove blockages and connect to your divine purpose? Death. Things aren't going to stay the way they are. Things are going to happen. Things are going to change. You're going to go through changes. And even though these changes are inevitable, like you concentrating on what you are not happy about is blinding you to the opportunities in front of you. It, it me is meaning that you, even though like wish fulfillment is on the table, happiness is on the table, healing is on the table, but the attitude in which you move forward, that's on you. And not even though the opportunity is wish fulfillment is right in front of you. And again, the only thing that you need to keep doing is like having a, you know, a good attitude about moving forward and taking practical steps. You know, you're not always going to see everything happen before it happens. Sometimes you're going to have to move ahead and walk in faith. Even if you know you may not have the light to see everything. What will help you remove blockages and connect to divine purpose? You've had some not great things happen to you. But those not great things happening, like they don't dictate your future happiness. And you're continuing to, you know, be so, so focused on what you didn't like is keeping you from taking opportunities that are in front of you. Because you're not looking at them. You have everything you need to manifest what you want in life. You're creative, you're abundant, like. And that's why, you know, like, all you have to do is just keep taking, taking practical actions forward and try to do it with a sense of enthusiasm. Because you are somebody that really has their stuff together. And because of that, like if you don't get so lost in what you don't like, what you didn't enjoy, what didn't go right, then like you're just going to lead into success because you've made yourself into a person that, you know, like as long as you're in positive attitude at all, you're, you're just you're going to make success happen because you stand out because you are special because you do have everything you need to make success happen. So I feel like you need to like walk, move forward with enthusiasm in your life. But that's really, it seems like that's the biggest correction that you need. Like you need to be able to move forward with enthusiasm because that's where, that's where you're going to manifest. Look, it lo even looks like this person, it's like this person is manifesting the star. Like the star is at the end of this person's staff. Like you taking up and like, you know, just taking up the mantle of winning that you deserve. 
is going to manifest the wish fulfillment and happiness. So I feel like you need to be able to like take action on what will make you emotionally satisfied. You need to take action on things that are just practical. And you need to have, you know, some joy and wonder at the world. And it's perfectly understandable that you're not happy about maybe having betrayal, maybe really being hurt. Those are real rational things not to be happy about. However, like don't be in the way of getting the happiness and the things that you deserve because you've dealt with heartbreak and loss. You have dealt with heartbreak and loss. Your heartbreak and loss is not going to keep you from having wish fulfillment. It's not going to keep you from having happiness unless you let it because that's not the end of your story you're you're somebody who's going to you know create abundance that you know like your legacy is ultimately going to be winning even if you didn't win every single time So concentrate on your emotional joy and happiness. Like, I feel like it's all just about not concentrating on the worst thing that happened to you, but concentrating on what you want, because what you want is going to manifest if that's the case. Just because you don't really have anything in your way except for going back to that. Knight of Swords. So I feel like there's a need for you to, to just keep taking forward action. Keep, you know, move forward in truth, move forward in emotions, move forward in practical actions. And even though you had heartbreak, even though you had a rough ending, you're going to end up with something that's emotionally satisfying. Your, your, your end doesn't like, just because you've had rough places along the way, doesn't mean that that's what's going, to, that's going to be your end or, or where you end up. But you need to, I think that you need to release your fear a little bit because you're afraid because of the heartache you've had. And you're afraid because of the losses that you've already had. But you need to release yourself from the attachment to that. Pain happens, but you continuing to attach yourself to that is something that you can control. What will help you remove blockages and connect to divine purpose? King of Swords. Feel like, you know, you just need to make some practical decisions. Don't give in to anxiety. Don't continue to, ho uh, to hold on to anything that's not serving you. And if you do that, then you're just going to have a new inspiring beginning where you're going to, like, Follow your passions and end up with love. It's like the universe is already manifesting, you know, things for you. You just need to be in the right mindset to receive them. And you've definitely already done a lot of work. You don't get to be, whether you're male, female, However you identify, you don't get to be the empress if you haven't dealt with, you know, like you, if you haven't learned, grown, become strong. I feel like you, on some level, you already know, and not only do you already know, but you're already starting to manifest things into this reality for your benefit.
Um, but you just need to, you know, not get off path with the things that you don't like. Because there is going to be a rebirth with the Phoenix. And that rebirth is going to lead to abundance for you because it is your legacy. Uh, I feel like you sometimes you get lost in the sadness. You get lost in the times that you've been betrayed. You get lost in the heartaches that you've had. But, you know, stop. Stop being so connected to your pain. It's like it's there. It's real. It happened. But you don't necessarily need to continue to hold on to it so tightly. Because you're going to, you know, you had heartbreak. Well, you're going to have love. You, you've, you've had the tough things happen. You're going to have wish fulfillment. But I feel like you need to not forget who you are. You need to not concentrate on relationships that aren't working. You need to just get in concert with the universe and work with it. Six, um, well, and that showed up as nine. Six is about love. So, I mean, love is going to come for you. Why wouldn't it? You already have everything. Like, you, you are that person. But with six being love, love, balance, you know, uh, but also nine is about ends. So, like, let this anxiety end. Know that no matter what, you're going to get what you deserve. And what you deserve is the whole pie. <laughs> like you're going to end up with comfort. You're going to end up with happiness. You're going to like, things are going to work out for you. Uh, I feel like you just need to not forget that that's what's going to happen. All right. I hope this helped you. Uh, if you do want a free reading, I'm giving away two as soon as I hit um, 6,000 subscribers. So if you subscribe to comment and you're in the running for that. I also want to say thank you to everybody who's been liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, and booking readings. It all matters. If you want to contact me, uh, I, it's, my email's in the description below the timestamps. Uh, if somebody is uh, giving you a WhatsApp in the comments, it's 100% not me. The, the, the safe way of contacted me is that email because there is somebody that's tr uh, pretending to be me and there are actually people who are trying to pretend to be other readers right now too. Just look out for yourself because, you know, you deserve to have good things happen for you. And then, you know, they're already manifesting. Just don't, just don't get, just don't regress in your case. <laughs> so thank you. I hope this will help you and I really appreciate you.